Is your neck pain worse in the morning? Let's talk about why that is and what you can do about it. My name is Roxanne Meldrum and I'm a physical therapist with PT Health Academy. First, let's cover why you may be waking up with more pain than you went to bed with. Simply put, this morning pain indicates that your neck could be what we call position sensitive. When you lay down for sleep, your neck is relieved of the work and load it has to sustain through the day, holding up your heavy head. That eight hours of rest from this work should make your neck feel better, not worse. Now when you're asleep, your neck sustains the same position for potentially hours at a time. And if it's the wrong position for your individual neck or age-related changes, then this can cause you to wake up sore. Think of when you've slept in a hotel with a really big full pillow that doesn't fit you well. It pushes your neck in directions that are not very comfortable and you may not get a good night's sleep. Well, when you have a neck that has some mileage or some age-related changes, then it won't take much position change to trigger those similar symptoms. Position sensitivity can be caused by a neck that is too loose. And when it is not supported well, it will shear across the joints in your neck and that is really hard on the discs and joints in your neck, especially again, if they're already injured. Position sensitivity can also be caused by a neck that is too stiff or too tight. For example, if you have arthritic changes that have led to a reduction in your range of motion, this usually results in loss of some side bending. So when you sleep on your side with maybe a pillow that's too small or not supportive enough, your head may be tipping towards that end range or into more motion than your neck actually has and that's going to be uncomfortable. So if your neck is position sensitive, then you wanna try to sleep in a position that does not trigger your symptoms. And usually this is neutral position. But what is neutral position? Your neutral is the position of your head and neck that results in the least amount of symptoms or most comfortable position. It's very individual. We like to think of neutral as kind of that nice straight posture where your ears, shoulders, and hips are lined up, and that's fine. If you can assume this position and sleep here, you may find that this works for you. But what if you have a stiff upper back and your head is slightly forward? You may have to support some of those changes in your sleep. If you try to force that flat, you don't have that range of motion and that's going to be very uncomfortable. Now that doesn't mean that we don't want to, during the day, work on your upper back mobility and your posture and try to regain some of that range of motion, but while you're sleeping is not the time to do it. Let's look at some examples. If you're finding this video to be helpful, please take just a second to like and subscribe as this really does help my business grow. Thank you so much for your support. When you're laying on your side, you want a pillow that is just the right thickness so that your nose, your sternum, and your pelvic bone is in a nice straight line. That again is trying to achieve that good sort of neutral position that's right in the center of your range of motion. If you have a pillow that you really like the density and the feel of, but maybe it feels just a little too small, instead of going out and buying a new pillow, you can use a towel roll to add some height to that pillow to lift it where you feel like you need a little bit more height or support. I like using towels because you can find a different towel, re-roll the towel, find a thinner towel, a thicker towel, until you find just that right nuanced position to give your neck the support it's looking for. I also like to use a towel roll as my neck support because I can re-roll the towel or find a different towel until I get just the right size that feels like my neck is well supported. A towel roll is also a good idea if you're one of those that like to shove your arm into your neck or underneath your pillow. Oftentimes you're doing that because you're trying to give your head more support or a different position than it likes with just the pillow on its own. So use a towel roll instead of your arm because your arm is more likely to move. Once you have the towel roll the right size, you can duct tape it and then put it inside your pillowcase so it stays put. You may notice when you're laying on your side that your body is sagging a little bit with the mattress. Unfortunately, that sag can pull and twist at your neck as well and be part of the problem when you're laying on your side. This is easily remedied again by a nice towel roll. With the towel roll at my waist, I am now in good alignment and there's much less pull or twisting through my neck in this position. When you're laying on your back, 
again, you want to consider what position is your neck happiest in when you're deciding on what thickness of a pillow to use. If I have a slightly forward head naturally, then this pillow might be just the right height, even though my ears and shoulders are not lined up, that may be my natural position and I may be very comfortable here. And again, I can take a towel roll and add that underneath my neck if I would like a little bit more support in the curve of my neck. If you are finding that you're constantly shoving your pillow into the crook or curve of your neck, that means your neck is craving some additional support that the pillow is just not providing. Or in the middle of the night, the pillow is sliding out and you're, using that good, you're losing that good support that you need. So again, using a towel roll, something that's gonna sit a little bit more reliably in that position might be a good idea. Now, what if you find a position with perfect support and your neck is happy, but as you sleep, you tend to roll and lose that good position? Well, in side lying, I would suggest that you pack a nice long body pillow or a couple big bolsters behind your back so that you can't roll out of that good position. Or if you find that your position of comfort is laying on your back, then put a nice big body pillow or bolster underneath your knees so that again, you have difficulty rolling away from that position while you're sleeping. I hope after you utilize these strategies, you wake up rested and pain-free as you should be. Thank you for listening.